The Traveler antenna is the premier antenna available in Weingart's line of mobile satellite TV antennas. Traveler antennas use the same antenna and LNB as home satellite dishes and can see multiple satellites simultaneously. Weingart offers three different Traveler antennas. Model SK Swim 3 Traveler DirecTV Swim Slimline antenna, Model SK1000 Traveler Dish Slash Bell TV antenna, and Model SK7003 Traveler Shaw Direct antenna. All Traveler antennas come with a fully assembled mount base. The reflector is not yet attached to the mount base for the Traveler DirecTV Swim Slimline and Traveler Dish Slash Bell TV antennas. For the Traveler Shaw Direct antenna, the reflector, LNBF, and feed arm are packaged separately as SKA733. Generally, it is easiest to fully install the base and then attach the reflector. Before installing the antenna, choose a firm location on the roof that will offer enough support for secure installation. The chosen location should be within 5 degrees of level or may slow the search routine. When the antenna is placed in the installation location, the maximum gap between the antenna base and roof should not exceed 3 16 of an inch. Before finalizing the chosen location, ensure there is adequate clearance for the antenna to operate. In general, the location should lack obstructions 8 inches or taller within a 36 inch radius of the base. Ensure the location meets this clearance requirement from air vents, AC units, and other roof mounted antennas that may become an obstruction when deployed, such as the sensor antenna. Finally, consider where cables will be routed. Cables should not be run under the reflector or may interfere with the feed arm as it raises and lowers. The 30-foot power slash control cable must be able to extend inside to the interface box, which plugs in to a 110-volt outlet via the 24-inch AC power cord. To install the antenna, place the Traveler antenna in the chosen installation location so that the marked front of the base faces the front of the vehicle. The antenna must be positioned on or parallel to the center line of the vehicle. Trace around the base and then move the antenna out of the installation area. Apply a continuous speed of sealant around the trace circle. Since electronics and other gears are located inside the base, it is critically important to fully seal the base in order to prevent corrosion. After applying sealant, place the antenna back in the traced area and screw the antenna to the roof with nine mounting screws. Apply sealant where the transition plate meets the roof and over screw heads. Once the base has been installed, connect the Traveler antenna to the interface box by running the power slash control cable inside to the interface box. Connect the power supply to the interface box and connect one end of the AC power cord to the power supply and the other end to a 110 volt outlet. If wiring a Traveler Shaw Direct or Dish slash Bell TV antenna, then connect a coax cable from a port on the mount base to each receiver. While previous model SK3005 Traveler Direct TV antenna also featured a separate coax cable to be run to each receiver, the Traveler Direct TV Swim antenna uses swim or single wire multi switch technology and features a single coax connection. Although only port C is used for Traveler DirecTV swim antenna installations, all ports remain in case a customer switches programming providers in the future. There are two basic setup configurations for the Traveler DirecTV swim antenna. In one setup option, run a coax cable from port C inside to the power to swim port of the power inserter and connect another coax cable from the signal to IRD port of the power inserter to the in from swim port of the splitter. Then connect a coax cable from the splitter to each receiver and plug in the power inserter to a 110 volt outlet. Terminate unused splitter outputs with a 75 ohm termination cap. Note that if hooking up the antenna to only one receiver, the splitter is not needed. In a second setup option, run a coax cable from port C to the in from swim port of the splitter which can be mounted on the roof. Then connect a coax cable from the out one port of the splitter to the power to swim port of the power inserter and connect the signal to IRD port of the power inserter to a receiver. Connect any additional receivers to the splitter via coax cable and plug in the power inserter to a 110 volt outlet. To install the reflector on the base, 
press and hold the power button for two seconds. The traveler antenna may enter the search routine. When the antenna has raised to a position in which the lift arms are perpendicular to the roof, press power and select at the same time. The antenna should stop moving. After raising the Traveler DirecTV Swim Slimline or Traveler Dish slash Bell TV antenna, simply line up the four holes in the mounting bracket with the four holes in the reflector and install a reflector bolt through each hole. If installing the SKA733, insert the two longer screws through the top holes in the front of the reflector and place a clamp and nut onto each screw. Align the anchor posts on the back of the reflector with the notches in the side of the skew plate and set the reflector on the skew plate. Install the lower screws and clamps. Once the reflector is securely installed, connect the four coax cables to the four ports on the mount base. Locate the cable tie on the sheathed coax cables. Place the P-clamp just below this cable tie on the sheathed cables. If the cable tie is missing, install the clamp 14 inches from the connectors. Screw the P-clamp to the lift arm, being careful not to strip out the hole. If the clamp is not installed correctly, it may result in a skew motor stall. When the reflector has been installed, Press and hold the power button for two seconds to power on the unit. Press the power button again to stow the unit. Deploy the antenna by pressing and holding the power button for two seconds or until the interface displays power on. The interface will then display the type of satellite dish on the top line as it goes through the search routine. Keep in mind that the initial search may take longer than following searches. When the search routine is complete, the interface will display an asterisk for each satellite found, listing the primary satellite first. The interface box will display satellites 101, 99, and 103 for DirecTV, satellites 119, 110, and 129 for DISH, satellites 91 and 82 for Bell TV, or satellites 111 and 107 for Shaw Direct. If signal is blocked from a satellite, an asterisk will not appear next to the satellite on the display. Before traveling, press power to stow the antenna. After installing a WineGuard Traveler antenna, it may be necessary to set up the customer's receiver. Online receiver setup guides are available for Traveler antennas at wineguard.com slash receivers slash setupguide.php. For most DirecTV receivers, receiver setup is done through the Repeat Satellite Setup option in the Receiver menu. After accessing the Repeat Satellite Setup option, select 01 SWIM for the switch type and 17 SLIMLINE 3S SWIM for the dish type. The receiver may then verify the setup, download the program guide, and run data feed and guide feed tests. Once receiver setup is complete, the antenna and receiver are set up for watching TV. If installing a dish receiver, go to the point dish menu and select check switch. If the receiver shows a switch type of DPP1K.2, then a check switch test is not necessary. If it does not show a switch type of DPP1K.2, then make sure there are no check marks by super dish or alternate and select test. Verify that the test results in a switch type of DPP1K.2 and that there is an OK status on satellites 110, 119, and 129. If so, cancel out of the receiver menu. The antenna and receiver are set up for watching TV. DirecTV Swim compatible receivers are compatible with the Traveler DirecTV Swim Slimline antenna, and most DISH receivers are compatible with the Traveler DISH slash Bell TV antenna. With appropriate wiring, the DISH, Hopper, and Joey, and Dual Tuner receivers can be compatible with the Traveler DISH slash Bell TV antennas. Although not needed in most installations, some accessories are available for Weingart Traveler antennas. If the attached 30-foot power slash control cable is not long enough to reach its destination inside the vehicle, Model CLSK26 25-foot extension cable is available. Do not exceed 55 feet of cable. For extra support in thin roof installations, 
model SKA008 mounting plate is additionally available. When installing a traveler antenna on a vehicle with a rubber roof, WineGuard recommends using model SKA004 roller plate. Model SKA004 roller plate creates a solid landing area for the roller in order to avoid the roller coming into contact with rib supports or bubbles in the roof and possibly causing damage to the roof. For more information on WineGuard Traveler automatic multi-satellite TV antennas, visit WineGuard.com traveler or check out the training tab at dealers.wineguard.com.